Hello, this is Matsi, and today we're going to look at how we can take humanoid characters created in Cubicle and get them animated through a use of Mixamo, a little bit of Blender, and then importing this into Smile Game Builder for our games. Here's what I'm talking about. So I have this character here. It's a female character in the upcoming game I'm working on, and I made her in Cubicle, but I animated her through Mixamo. This is a voxelized character animated with Mixamo and put into Smile Game Builder. I have walk and I have run animations and I have idle animations. As you can see, she's moving a little bit as she's standing still. All of this was done with little effort from the 3D animation side. Most of it was creating the character and then getting it to import properly and animate as I want within Mixamo. First, we'll start with in Cubicle. You can see here on the left, this is the girl character that I made for the demo I just showed. Now I have a ninja character that I'm also going to show how I can break this apart and get it into Mixamo. As it stands right now, I could technically export this ninja as it is and get it animated. However, because at some point I want to get proper segmentation between the voxelized elements of the person, I do want to break it apart into the relevant components that make up a human. Not doing that will make it look a little distorted when it gets animated. And since this is a voxel game and I'm focused on the voxel aesthetic, I do eventually want to be able to animate showing the voxel elements of the person. Since this is one unit, I'm going to have to break it apart into all the different pieces. I'll talk through some of this and then I will fast forward it through the boring parts. So simply put, all I have to do is double click on the matrix and then proceed to cut out constituent pieces into a different location. So I'm going to hit M so I get the selection rectangle tool. And I'm going to select the hand. Then I'm just going to cut it right out. When I double click on the outside here, I can paste it. And you can see the hand appeared over there. Now, because this seems to be where it wants to paste my objects, I can save myself a little time by moving the model to the same location where it lines up with the hand. This way I can just copy and paste pieces out or cut and paste pieces out and they will align exactly where they were in relation to the object. As you can see here, I'll cut out the forearm and I'll paste it and it appears there. So I'm just gonna go through and cut and paste each individual piece that I want. I could also provide a name here. It's not really critical for this demonstration. It might be helpful later when working in Blender because those names come through and you would have better named objects that you're working with. Now that we have this in the right pieces, we have all the hand, elbow, and so on, we can get ready to export this for use in Mixamo. What is important to note is that I do need to know things like where the wrist is and about where the elbow is going to be, along with the knees and the groin area and the chin. So as long as I can approximate where those are going to be, it will make the Mixamo animation work a little better. I also need to move this approximately to the center of the origin. I haven't seen any issue with putting the person above the zero mark here. Seems to work just fine when I get into Mixamo, but it is much nicer to get it right into the center. And then I will select all of these component pieces and do an FBX export. Now, in this case, I'm not going to do any sort of voxel manipulation. I want to get this as big as it needs to be instead of doing 0.63, which is what this uh, scale goes to in SGB. I'm going to leave it all at one, everything as it should be set. And then I'm going to export 
the ninja girl into my character's folder. Once this is exported, I can get the files prepared so I can import them into Mixamo. To do this, not only do I need to get the material file ready, I do need to make a zip file in order to ensure the material file goes with the character as I import it. You can see actually I have a previous attempt of a ninja here. So ninja girl right here in the materials folder, which is right there. Ninja girl. I'm going to copy this out and I'm going to put it into the same location. Now, when you export from cubicle, potentially you could do an export where you put this file along with this main one, but the default is to have a materials folder. So I just end up copying and pasting it out. I only need this for the process of animating and then I can go back to the regular setup. I'll select both of these and I will send them to a compressed zip file. Then we go to Mixamo. So you see here, this is the girl that I was working with before. I'm going to go and get my ninja girl ready. I will select the zip file from my character's location, ninja girl zip. Open that up and get it imported. Once it's done importing, I get a view of the model from the front facing position. If I had exported it in any other position, I may have to do some rotation to get it to the right place. But since this is in the right place, we're just going to click next. Now I get to choose where the component pieces of the person are. So I'll just place them here. I get a chin, got the wrists, which are very obvious, but the elbows, the elbows are a little harder. I kind of have to guess unless I had a color style that made that easier. Uh, it's okay for now because later on I can fix the skeleton that gets created. Then I'll go pick the knees and finally the groin. Also, I need to make sure that this skeleton is selected with no fingers. Clearly, there are no fingers here. I suppose if you wanted fingers, you could do that, but you might need a model that's a little bigger. Now we'll just get it rigged up. As you can see, it's successfully rigged. There are some little oddities, like the neck seems to be hovering over the head, and that's okay. Again, all of these things could be fixed up later using Blender. I'm not going to do that in this tutorial, but this is a good starter point that can be worked on later. Now here is my ninja girl. I can go proceed to do some ninja girl actions. In Smile Game Builder, we need at least three of them to mimic the actions I showed. An idle animation, a walking animation, and a running animation. Since this is a ninja, why don't we take a look at what sort of ninja things that we can do. That could be a pretty good ninja idol. Or maybe here. This looks like a good one. So we're going to pick this as our ninja idol. I don't need to do anything fancy here. I could mess with things like the arm space or the number of frames. It's really not important for this demonstration. Uh, suffice it to say, you can do a lot of different things with what you're going to export from Mixamo. So let's get this downloaded. I want to keep the skin. I want it to be an FBX file. And I want to change this to 60 frames per second. Since I know I have two other animations I want to do, I might as well get those ready now. We could have a running animation. Note that if the animation is moving physically, you do need to check this in place so it works properly in SGB. That looks just fine. Why don't we just download it? And finally, let's pick a walk. This seems aligned with our idle animation, so let's pick that. Use it in place. Looks fine. Let's download. Now let's get these assets prepped for SGB. The pattern I've been following for my characters is that I make a folder specific to that character where I can put all my assets. I'm going to make a folder right now for Ninja Girl.
And in this folder, I need another folder called motion. I also need to take the material file and put it within the same folder as the Ninja Girl. Another essential download is I actually need to get the version of this posing with just its arms in the static position. So I X out of the animation and I get back to the default pose. And I need to download this in the T pose position so that I can have SCB know how to animate it. Now we can get all of our assets into the correct folder. So here we have all of our assets into the right place, but we do need to do some additional things. First, let's get all the motion files named correctly because SGB needs these to have a specific name in order to work properly. First, the walk animation, which in this case is a sneak walk. We do MOT001 underscore walk. Idle animation is a weight in SGB. Is 002 wait and finally run animation is mot 003 run there's one final step i need to take with each one of these animations i have to get the animation keyframes fixed so that scb knows how to recognize them correctly thankfully smile game builder has released a fixer tool that allows us to do just that as you can see here i have fbx setting.exe for ease of use in this tutorial, I'm just going to move it over to the same folder. For each one of these FBX files, I need to import them into Blender and discover what the keyframe endpoint is. Here we are in Blender, where I will need to import each one of the FBX motion files and find the endpoint for the keyframes. We'll start with the walk motion. As you can see at the bottom, the keyframes end somewhere between 60 and 70. So I'm going to select until I find one that ends at the exact endpoint, which is 64. And then I'm going to run the fixer tool. So all it wants me to do is enter when the keyframes end. In this case, it was 64. It's giving me the same file back with the motion fixed. This FBM file is not actually needed. It just holds the material. And since I already have the material, I can just delete this. Now I'll fix the rest of these and then get them into SGB. We're back in SGB now and we're ready to import our Ninja Girl. So we go to Add Assets. And under Characters, we click Add. Then we find where our character is, in this case, Ninja Girl, and select the file. Now, here's a really important part of this importing. Because I'm using a specific scale from within Cubicle, I know that when I do 16 by 16 objects, I have to export by 0.063 from Cubicle. But since I did not do that on the export, I have to do it on the import. So when I'm importing, I have to check this box here. And in this case, I'm setting the scale to 0.063. This will make sure that she shows up correctly on the map. Here we go. We can see that she's already in her walk motion. I can take a look and see there's the wait animation and there's the run animation. Now we can put this into our game and see what it looks like. Because Scion is the default character in SGB, I'm just going to go and change the graphic there. That makes it a lot easier for testing things out. Here she is. You can see I have now a ninja version of the girl. She can crouch, she can wait, and she can run. There's a lot more that can be done with these animations. Right now, I'm doing the bare bones minimum that's necessary to get the animation in place. This is really excellent for doing testing and trying out different types of humanoid animations. However, I would want to take this back into Blender and do some tweaks and modifications as as I noted before, the voxel animation can get a little wonky when 
just doing plain old Mixamo imports and exports. That's it for today's tutorial. Please check out my website, monty.com, for more information on my projects. Also check out the description below where I have some links both to other websites you can find more information or for my Twitch stream where I have been showing off the work that I've been doing as I work on a new project. Thanks again for checking me out and I'll see you next time.